Hey guys, Comet here. Welcome to the first episode in my Subnautica series. So I recently sent out a poll asking how many people might enjoy watching a playthrough, and 60% said that they would, and 40% said that they'd just like to see me stick to Oxygen Not Included. Now, just because I'm doing this doesn't mean I'm gonna stop making the Oxygen Not Included videos. I do plan on getting one out every weekend, along with the Factorio videos. But I found Subnautica about a month ago, and it was just fantastic. So I had to get the second one, and the second one was just as good. The only problem is that there's an invisible barrier that stops the player from progressing any further through the story, so I have to wait for the full release of the second one on the 14th, so that's in like six days. And I really want to do a series on that, so I thought, well, I should just start with the first one, catch everyone up to speed, and then I can go through the second one. So I've already done a playthrough here, so I know kind of the gist of everything, but there was a lot of the map that I left unexplored, because there's not really a map you can look at, like in most games, to see where you've been, where you haven't. You kind of have to mark everything out yourself, using beacons. And so, you really just kind of stumble through the whole story. Which I think is very suiting for the whole atmosphere of the game, because you're just kind of stuck on this planet, you don't know what's happening. But, uh... You'll see what I mean as I play through it here. Oh, and I should also point out, I mean, you probably already noticed this already, but I have a video camera. I thought uh, Subnautica would be a good game to maybe capture some of my reactions. Rather than just a uh, disembodied voice. So, I think, to make things interesting, I'll do Hardcore. So that's one life. I'm not going to get any oxygen warnings when I get kind of low, so I have to be super careful with everything I do, plan everything out. Press any button to continue. Gotta put out that fire. Fire extinguisher. Burning. Okay. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Okay, let's see here. I have a recording of what she just said. Just a fire extinguisher. put this away? Yeah, I don't need that. So I've got some food and water. I keep pressing escape. The tab closes the PDA. Now, the medical kit fabricator, it keeps making more medical kits, so just take them off cooldown, store them, or keep them on your person. At least that's what I do. Uh... I need to make a repair tool, it looks like. Let's see. Yeah, I need a repair tool for that, too. Okay. Let's see. 
what happened out here. So this is the Aurora, yes, thank you. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Let's see, can I make a repair tool yet? Do I have the blueprint? Or do I need to find it? Yes, okay, so I need silicone, cave sulfur, and titanium. So silicone, I can get from... Where are they? Like the seaweed looking plants. Yeah, over here. Creep vine. And I'm not gonna get an oxygen warning. I have to keep an eye on that. I need a knife. Okay. Wait, then how do I get... I think the rubber... no, the rubber I get from the... these glowy things. Creep vine seeds. And then I can make a knife and Life slash the, uh... Creep vine. And peepers are an amazing Blue source of food. Discovered. Come here. Come, come back. Yeah. Now another interesting thing. You can keep fish just in storage containers, but if you cook them and then put them in the storage containers, they go bad. So you can either just store the fish or you have to cure them. I need to make... Wait, but I can't... Oh, yes, I can. Perfect. Silicone. I'll make a cooked fish. The fabricator cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. So I need some titanium. That's pretty easy to find. Let me put this stuff away. That's the one thing I wish uh, there was more of on the beginning life pod here. More storage. I always find myself making a bunch of little... Whoa. A bunch of little floating storage containers. Uh, what did I need? Titanium? Titanium. And repair tool, I need cave sulfur. Okay, cave sulfur... I find in caves, obviously. But they're guarded by some suicidal fish. Yep, there's one. Ow. So, I have to go get some oxygen and then come back down and find the spot where it charged me from. Because in its little nest, there's some cave sulfur. And in the second game, they actually combine cave sulfur and sulfur 
into just one one thing rather than having two separate items. Yes, cave sulfur. Detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave grab systems. that one here. Sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool. Dead yet. Titanium, yes. Uh, where do I get titanium? From metal salvage. There we go. There should be some more metal salvage around here somewhere. But I think for now, I'll just take this back. I need to first turn the metal salvage into titanium. And then... Where is it? Oh. <laughs> yes, I need my rubber. There we go. So we'll fix this. I forget what it is. Oh. I'll fix this. Anything else I need to fix? Okay. Play the message. This is a Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine. 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 Hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Okay, what is the next step? Uh, I think I want to make a knife. Which I can. were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Let me see, can I make the habitat builder yet? Computer chip, wiring kit, and battery. Okay, computer chips, I need table coral, and gold, and ooh, it's dark out. Oh, okay, so when it's dark out, this is the perfect time to go around and grab some bladderfish, because they're super easy to see. Alien life forms may have unexpected and these are your... Alien resources is a proven I'll let her stop strategy. talking. Bladderfish are your basic source of water, kind of in the early game before you get the filtration machine, which just makes water using power. Ooh, oxygen. Okay, let me swim back. And I may want to try and make some fins so I can swim more quickly. Can I make fins? I can. Okay. Let me grab my grapevine seeds. Let's make some more silicone. And some fins. Yes. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For okay. your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. For my safety, sure. Water. Put 
put some of this back. I don't need all of it. I don't need that. I'm gonna put this quartz and titanium away. And you can see just how quickly the storage fills up. Let's eat this. Was that the uncooked one? That was the uncooked one. Let's see. Uh, next, I want... Yeah. I could do the scanner or the fabricator. Or the, the, the habitat builder. Battery and titanium. I have titanium. To make a battery, I need acid mushroom and copper ore. So here's some mushrooms. I don't want to pick up all of them. Why am I back over here? Copper. Forgot the copper. Now, copper can be found in... These are pretty. Copper can be found in some outcroppings. I can't see anything right now. I just have to wait for the sun to come back. I guess I can grab some more bladderfish. Detecting increased local radiation levels. The trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core. Sustain Get these turned into water. a light yet? I think I need a battery to make a light, though. Yeah. Okay, but I can make the glass using this quartz that I found. Oh, it only takes one glass. Oops. Looks like the sun's coming out. Okay, so the outcroppings... Ooh, wait a minute. While I'm here... Table coral. This will make the computer chip. Or this will allow me to make the computer chip. So I'm looking for little rocks. In the side, the rocks can be copper, like this one. That's titanium. More metal salvage. Oxygen. Here's another rock. Copper. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. Okay, 
get all the metal salvage turned back into titanium. And then I need the copper for the battery. And then I can make the light, so I can explore the caves and at night. Let's see, yep, yeah, battery. And the light. Or should I make the scanner? Let's see, is the sun still out? The sun's still out. Okay, let me make the scanner. Always keep some water on you. I don't need all this. Okay. I need more copper. While I'm here. Let me scan up these fish. Come back. Oh, there's a radio message. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Let's see, where did that come from? Okay. That is... I don't even know what direction that is, because I don't have a compass yet. I think... That way is east, that way's west, south, and north. No, north is <laughs> completely disoriented already. You have to construct a compass. You don't have a compass or a map. Uh, but what was I doing? More copper. Yes. Oh, hello. Limestone won't give copper. I'll break it anyway. Oxygen. <laughs> Creature egg. We'll see what that turns into, if I can find the uh, alien containment facility. Oh, limestone does give copper. Maybe it's not the best time to look at the PDA while I'm underwater. Okay, uh, what did I want to check? The data bank. Geological data. Limestone outcrops. Okay, so they will give titanium and copper. Oh, I can make a power cell. Yeah, computer chip. Oh, I need gold. Wait. Oh, I just made wiring. Let me put this back. Oh, there's no room. I think this is when I just start making all of the floating storage containers. I'm going to try not to make too many of them this playthrough. Okay, it's already on hotkey 5. Change your name to... 
titanium. You can hold... I don't know yet. Okay, but I'll put all of this away. I guess you can hold the table coral. And the creature egg. But I need more copper. Oh, I can scan that. Copper, copper, copper. Did I get it? Where'd it go? What? Oxygen. And I also need to get the better dive tank so I can stay underwater longer. Where are the outcroppings? Scan this? I can. What about these manatees? Gas pod. Now I can't get too close to the Aurora. And that's a hostile creature. The Aurora gives off radi- well, actually no, not yet. It has to explode. Then the radiation zone appears. This is a crash site. The grav trap, yeah. That's super helpful. It pulls in fish. And rocks. So I don't have to go out looking for him. But I still need to make some copper so that I can build the battery so that I can make the trap. Let's see, is that everything here? No, one more scan. So any beacons that you find... What am I talking about? Any fragments you find. You scan them, and if you've already scanned them, then it just gives you titanium rather than the blueprint. Gotta be some more outcroppings around here somewhere. Oh, another creature egg. Here we go. Ah, it's back. Here's another one. Titanium. Oxygen. I think I can make that. Yeah, okay. Like, you have, like, a three-second buffer past the time it says you have zero before you die. Hmm. 
your screen starts closing in, everything goes black. A lot of titanium, not very much copper. I think this is enough, though. Ah, oh, can make beacons. Let's make... Okay, I need the acid shrooms. Another battery. And then I wanted to make the... What, the light? Was it the light I was looking for? Yeah, the light. Okay. Let me turn all this scrap into titanium. Uh, gold. For a computer chip. Then I can build the... Oh, but then I need silver for the wiring kit. Um, standard O2 tank? Is that what I have? Well, I don't even have an O2 tank yet. What am I doing? High capacity O2 tank. I need glass, silver ore, and titanium. And the O2 tank I already made. Okay. Power cell. Bleach. Oh, I think that's for making... Yeah, disinfected water. Beacon. Let me go out and explore, now that it's dark out and you can't see anything, the life pod over here. Let me get the light. Put that on hotkey 4. to... Okay, I just want to make sure I don't go towards the Aurora yet, because there's a Reaper Leviathan that likes to hang around the stern. And while I'm here... Don't mind if I do. Yes, I can build a compass. Is there anything else in here? Integrating new PDA data. Does not appear so. Let me get some oxygen and then check around the site. Just some scrap metal. Sea glide. And some salt. Take that. That looks like everything. Now, 
here's the big question that I haven't figured out yet. I don't know if it's a good idea to... Well, I don't even have any beacons, never mind. On my first playthrough, what I did was I beaconed every... Oh, I can scan this. I beaconed every crash site so I knew which ones I had visited. But beacons are only good if you plan on returning, and so I think it might just be better to, like, leave a, a light stick or a flare. That way you know you've been there before. Unless you need to return, like with a laser cutter or something, then I think it's a good idea to leave a beacon. But I haven't really worked out a good system yet. take stock of what I have. So I can make... oh yeah, I already saw that. And a compass, yes. But I need silver for the wiring kit still. Okay, let me convert all this over to titanium. Then, get some water from this bladder fish. Put the eggs away. Next step, I think, yeah, I just need to go find some crash sites, and some silver, yeah, okay, so silver, gold, crash sites, that's how I progress. I want to check inside this cave now that I have a light, I can see. of the Aurora's drive court may result in a quantum detonation, continuing to monitor. Nothing interesting here. Should probably get some air. I think it's in the creep vine over here. There's different outcroppings, not just the limestone, where I can find silver and gold. And brain coral gives you little bubbles of oxygen. And I don't want to pick up the salvage by the, uh... Where are they? Those things. Because they'll go down grab the salvage and drop it, and then if you go under it, sometimes you'll find their teeth, which are really useful for enameled glass, and this is the outcropping I was talking about. Silver. Silver. Perfect. Kits are an essential component of many habitat modules. 
Let's see if I can find another one. Ah, uh, but I have no air. down here? Of course I do. Inventory full. You gotta be kidding me. Uh... I'll just eat the fish. Where'd the silver go? Okay. Where's the life pod? There it is. I need to make a wiring kit. I think that's all of my silver now, though. Can I make a compass? Where's the compass? Compass. Copper wire. Can we make some wiring? And the compass. Now I can see where north is. And... I want to go back and grab some more silver. So let me throw away... Well, not throw away, but put away... All of this titanium. Oh, I already made copper wire. Whoops. Let me make another... See, this is what I mean by having to make so many little storage containers. And this one titanium. Got all this extra titanium in there. I think there's some I left in here. Yep. Let me put away lead, salt, cut your egg. Yeah, I don't need this stuff at the moment. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go back to... Well, first, let me make a couple of beacons. It's always nice to have some beacons on you. In case you need to return somewhere. remember which direction. I think it was this way. Let's see, so that is southeast. South-southeast, so I need to go north-northwest to get back to the creep vine. Still looking for silver. Here we go. Sands. Ah, uh, gold. Yes. Do I need this salt? I'll take it. Oxygen. I gotta really be careful.
more salt. I don't want to fill up my inventory on salt, though. Ooh, I can scan that. Where is it? Three. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any more sandstone outcroppings. Here's one. Where's this limestone? That's limestone. I'll take the copper. I probably shouldn't go down here yet. I need to grab some more air. No, 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 no. More lead. I don't want to fill up on metal salvage yet. I'll scan these. For cave divers is loss of orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. It is your primary oh, no, 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 that's a mesmer. That's a mesmer. Yeah, so there's these fish that kind of distract you and make you swim towards them. Still don't have enough silver or gold yet. There's... Yep, here's one. This is the tooth I was talking about. New blueprint acquired. I have to remember which way is out. So I don't get disoriented. I'm gonna run. Do I have time to scan that? I think I have time to scan that. That might be too dangerous to go down there. At least with my current oxygen tank. What is this? Nothing. It is your primary no! objective to swim closer to that appeared. I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. Okay. I guess I should save the battery on the light. There really is no... sandstone around here. Dark. Let me take stock of what I have. I have one piece of gold. So I can make the computer chip now. And I wanted the computer chips that I could make. Let me see. Was it the habitat builder? 
But I still need more silver for the wiring kit. Okay. Let's see if we can find some more silver. this? Bioreactor. That'll come in handy. Is this one I need a uh, laser cutter for? Okay, so I have the bioreactor now, but I can't really build anything because I don't have the habitat builder. Laser cutter? Can I open you? No? Can I get in over here? Ha. Scan that. Congratulations, survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. Let me out. Let me out. And then there's a radio message I need to go look at. Or listen to. You can't look at a radio message. I just want to make sure I got everything down here first. Data box. I can fix this, and I think that'll open the door. Yes. Still can't see a damn thing. Sea glide. Oh, I can scan that. I can scan that. Go get some more air. New blueprint acquired. I might not make this one. Uh, okay. <laughs> I really gotta stop cutting it so close. Sounds. Oh, here's the other grav trap piece. Let's see, is that everything? Nope, one more. Anything else? Here's one. Uh, okay, let's get out of here. Where's the life pod? Wait, do I have my silver yet, though? I don't want to leave till I have silver. Let's see, I have gold, but no silver. back down. This looks interesting. Ooh. Silver. Okay, I need one more piece of silver. Give me oxygen. 
passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Any more? Please? Thank you. Thank you. Gold. I need silver. No. Damn it. I'll eat this. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Alright, fine. Lead. Damn it. How do I get out of here? Seek fluid intake. How about I seek oxygen intake first? Let's see, I can drink that. Vital signs stabilizing. Let me see if I can go back down and find it. My light's about to die too. Here it is. Okay. Ow! Okay, let's get out of here. I want to go back home. I feel like I'm not even moving. The only way I know I'm moving is that the meter counter is going down. Okay. Let me play the message. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships, they run low on engine grease, they send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's see. If I can make a sea glide, vehicle bay, the grav trap now. But I wanted to make a wiring kit and a computer chip so that I could make the fabricator. I keep calling it the Fabricator, the Habitat Builder. Battery and computer chip, okay. The bin over here has some wiring. Do we need salt? Table coral. Okay. I think I only need two table coral. Then... I'm gonna need the mushrooms for the battery. Advanced wiring kit. Battery, 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 battery. Okay. Battery. Let's make the habitat builder. Builder 2 is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Warning, 
Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Yeah, so this is when the Aurora explodes and I need to make a radiation suit. I don't think I can make that yet, though. Nope. Okay, let me make a mobile vehicle bay. So I need some titanium ingots, lubricant, and a power cell. So titanium ingots. Now lubricant is made from these things. Let me actually throw the egg in there. is essential in construction of vehicles and, and power plants. power cell. Power cell takes, I think, two batteries each. One, yeah, two batteries and silicone rubber. Okay, so two batteries. I need more acid mushrooms. Because I have enough copper. So that's two mushrooms per battery, so that's a total of four mushrooms. batteries. Let me drink some water. Eat this. Silicone. Silicone I get from creep vine clusters. Oh, well, there's another radio message. I will check that out once I get some creep vine, which I forget. Which direction is it? North? West, northwest. Here's some. Any seeds? I need the seeds. There's some seeds. Swimming through there does absolutely nothing, but I like doing it. Let me play this message. This is Life Pod 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. Recorded to the data bank. Nope. Is it... Here we go. Codes and clues. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So I have to find out where this life pod is based on the picture. So... I know the biome it's in, at least. I was making... yes, lubricant. No, silicone. Now I can make a power cell. And now I can make a vehicle bay. this. Put that on five. So I, I can't even make anything yet. Wow. 
Let me try and make this sea glide. I think I have blueprints for the sea glide now. Do I? I thought I did. Do I need one more? No, I do. Battery, lubricant, and copper wire. So let me go grab two more acid shrooms. Let's make a battery. And then I think I need lubricant and copper wire. Okay, so lubricant. I think I have enough seed vines on me, or seed vine clusters. Yep. Lubricant and... what was the last one? Copper wire. Now where do I build... the sea glide? Oh, here we go. It's a deployable. The sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. So this thing's pretty cool. Please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or oh, habitat. Yeah. Super speedy now. Another radio transmission. Land re recorded distress call. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. 300... Oh, it's 300 meters below the surface, and it's 1,200 meters away. I don't think I can d dive that low yet. Um, okay, what's next? I have the sea glide. Mobile vehicle bay. I need to find some sea moth blueprints. Oh, and I have the habitat builder. Right? I made that, right? Yes. Okay, so I can start building a base. Oh, another radio signal. Wow, something's popular. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad... how many of you... I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. Uh, another radio message. Land re recorded distress call. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, that one's 100 meters. I can make that one. Stranded near cave system. Let me grab some food and water. Put all this junk away. Water. Uh, see, I don't have any food left. I may want to go grab some fish. Here's a peeper. Can't eat that. Come here. Okay, that should be enough. And now with the salt, which... I think I left back over here. Yep. I can cure the food and bring it with me. And then 
I should have enough water. Yep, okay. Life pod 17. Stranded near cave system and under attack. Hey, the sea moth. Yay. Need some light. Integrating new PDA data. Is that it? Short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity oh. and connects to a number of small cave networks. It's too far away. It's the only sea moth fragment around here. And yeah, there's no way I can make 300 meters. I need a rebreather. So the rebreather increases oxygen efficiency when diving below 100 meters. Or, it doesn't increase it, it just makes it like it was when you're not diving below 100 meters. You lose oxygen efficiency below 100 meters, and the rebreather makes you not lose it. Try uh, locating life pod six. So four hundred meters west northwest of life pod four. Where's life pod four? has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T-10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Database. Let's see, uh, <laughs> why did I come up here? I want to check what life pod number I am. I think I'm life pod 5. Yeah. I don't remember where life pod 4 was. I don't think I've found it yet, actually. Yeah, I don't know. Can I turn on? Nope. Life pod three, life pod 17 and life pod 19. So I don't know where life pod four is yet. I 
Okay, but I think I've stalled enough. Is the sun out? The sun is not out. Let me make the radiation suit. Fiber mesh and lead. So I have lead here. And then fiber mesh. I need to go swipe some creep vine. With my survival knife. Fiber mesh first. Pathfinder. Oh, I need. Oh, ah, damn it. Here we go. Now I can make the suit. It auto equips it perfect. Okay, I think that's enough progress here. Um, in the next episode, I'll try and get a base down with this habitat builder and get all my stuff moved into the new base. So I'll go exploring, trying to find a location. I have a couple in mind. But we'll start the uh, first base there, and I want to put it in a pretty permanent spot, because in my last playthrough I ended up moving like three different times and had to shuttle my resources back and forth. And that just took forever. So I want to get the permanent base first. And then maybe make little outposts when I need to find... What is that thing? Skyray. Uh, uh, <laughs> back to what I was saying. I get little outposts scattered around when I need to find specific resources using the scanning room. But anyway, this is something a little different. Can I scan you? Uh, got it. Okay. I wanted to try a Subnautica playthrough. So stay tuned for the second episode. And I'll see you there.